Hello and hi everyone. Uh, so we have this question. Uh, write a program in Python to count the number of each vowel in a string. So we know what are vowels. These are A, E, I, O, and U. Suppose we have a string that says hello world. And we need to uh, to count the number of vowel. So uh, we can say E, we can find E, O, and O over here, which are the vowel in the string. Now, how would I found, uh, how will I find these vowels and how I am going to store it? The output of the program should be in this format. Uh, You. So, uh, how many times I have uh, found E? That is only one time in this case. And how many times I have found O, which is 2 in this case, rest all are 0. So, uh, this is the output that we want. So, uh, this question can be, uh, can be broken down into two simple questions. To find vowel and to print, oh sorry to store the vowel whenever we uh, try to store something in a programming language we generally and usually use a data structure in this case we will be using dictionary and to find vowel in a string so uh, let's tackle these two problems one by one first and second and uh, we can only learn by practicing much for example uh, let's print out let's define a string one which is hello world And uh, for uh, I'll use a for loop to iterate through the string for i in string one. If i is equal to a, and I'm supposing the user is uh, inputting all the small character values, not the capital character case. So, uh, I can print found a and similarly I can follow this along for uh, most of the cases uh, like for every case I can do this sorry only thing that I need to do is do LF and always remember to put a space between what you are typing with if and LF put a space else uh, this will show a syntax error I is equal to a found a and only thing which I need to do is a e uh, changes a and over here I'm gonna change I and over here I'm gonna change O and a e then found e i then found i o then found o and one last is left and if i is equal to u print found u And let's run this code and let's see what happens basically I'm telling you to always try run your code it doesn't matter it has to be correct all the time it just that it has to make sense to you like if you're trying to do something uh, first put a structure with your code 
like think about it uh, think about it in your mind do a rough a uh, try run on paper or anything and then try to code it out if you are finding somewhere that you are lacking then try to improvise on it and then again redo it with uh, with a new thinking or whatever improvement that you think can uh, i can make to achieve a desired output for example uh, here i wanted to find e so uh, so uh, this is a simple question right to find uh, vowel in a string so uh, when i found e it is telling me i have found e when i found o it is telling me i have found o and a uh, same again it is telling me i have found o which is correct because if you look at this uh, you will find o as one of the vowels here another o and e as a vowel here now this uh, the second thing that i want to do is to store the occurrences of the number of vowels of each vowel sorry for example if i find e i want to do it as uh, i want to do it as e is equal to 1 it should give me something like this and this is something we can create in dictionary which is uh, a powerful data structure in python and most of the times uh, for real case and real world examples dictionary is used and uh, let's create one dictionary saying dict1 is equal to uh, let's initialize the values with sorry a and i'm going to put it an initial value 0 because i haven't found uh, i haven't found anything yet in a string so and uh, then e i'm again i'm going to do it and always separate these two values key value pairs by a comma and a and i can copy all this and i can a, okay let me type it a, i Zero. Zero. So I have a dictionary saying dict one, and I have all the vowels stored in it, saying as these are the keys. A is a key, and corresponding is the value. So now I will do one thing. is to uh, let's take the user input and a and a string and a string and uh, i'm going to store it in str1 and i'm going to use a for loop to iterate through the string which i have taken from the user let's say for i in str1 okay if i'm going to use the same logic so i'm going to cut uh, the code from here it will save me some time for i in string 1 so i'm, I'm going to cut whole of it sorry uh, only the if and else that i need to have come on see and i'm going to use it here so instead of printing what i'm going to do is basically i will access the values in str1 string1 and compare it with the values of dict1 okay so dict1 A, dict one A is equal to when I say dict one, that means it is referring here. Uh, the the code is referring here at A, at a key, and this will give me its value. So I want to if I find A, I want to increase the value of A by one. So what simply I would do, I'll I'll do a plus one on it. and this will work like a charm i i can use this and i can cut and copy and save some of my time 
because I need to make this video short unless you guys won't watch it uh, and just a little bit of tweak to match this so when I say E it basically referring the value at E and if I if I am finding E I want the value of E to be increased and this is what the code is doing okay saving some more time e i i and uh, okay and this is dict i okay e i o well basically i need to do o here because i have found o and I want to increase the value of O and this I can comment it and this I can copy and paste it here just to save a little bit of time and U and found U and let's see if the code works and I'm gonna print the dictionary oh yeah to print the dictionary you can use a uh, simple the name of it print and dict1 and this is our whole code I'm, uh, I'll zoom out and let you guys know how it will work and I'm gonna run this let's see if it works enter a string let's uh, type hello world so it is giving me the exact output that I wanted it has found e one time so it is giving me e as one it has found o two times so it is giving me o two times and uh, rest of the values are zero let's try it one more time with different string uh, let's uh, try with something like a a e e i i o o u u z z let's see so a it is giving me two times which is correct and uh, for e it is giving me two times for i it is giving me two for o it is giving me two and for u it is giving me two as simple as that and one more thing that we can do here like suppose uh, the user is uh, uh, the user can type anything right so what I can do is uh, to lower all the values whatever if the user inputs a capital value I want to lower it down because I have this data structure and I want everything to be stored into this data structure without a problem so what i can do is like str1 dot lower this uh, function i can use and i can store it in str2 str2 and since string is immutable type so atta uh, assignment over that is not possible so it will create a copy of it of string one into a lower value and then it will store it in str2 and uh, I'll simply do str2 here and let's see if it works or not let's type capital A E I capital O capital U and it should be everything should be one which is correct and uh, here I'm ending this code session with you guys I hope you guys uh, learned a lot and enjoyed it